Hi everyone, welcome to my poster. My name is Jun Chai. I'm a postdoc working at the School of Public Health, Hunan University in China. I'm very excited to attend this online Academics Age conference. The study presented in my poster was performed in collaboration between Fudan University, Peking University, and Indiana University, which has been recently published in Nature Communications. I will give a brief summary of our work following the poster. The shortages of COVID-19 vaccines were seen in the early phase of massive rollout across countries, and is expected to last for a long time, particularly in low- and middle-income countries. These limitations cause for a strategy to prioritization. The key questions to be addressed here is how to optimize vaccine prioritization under a limited daily vaccination capacity such that the health benefits are maximized. To this end, we developed an age-structured SVUIR model to couple the daily vaccine allocation decisions with the transmission dynamics of an epidemic in China. We then use the model outputs to minimize the total risk incidence over 400 days for each of the five risk metrics, infections, symptomatic cases, hospitalizations, ICUs, and deaths. To solve this optimization model, we explored a two-step optimization strategy. As we can see from these figures, for different goals, for example, minimizing infections versus minimizing deaths, different time-varying age prioritizations are identified. As expected, optimal strategies perform best to achieve their specific goals. Moreover, the five optimal strategies perform relatively close to each other, but dramatically better than the uniform strategy. We further conducted a univariate sensitivity analysis to explore the impact of key parameters, such as the daily vaccination capacity, reproduction number, R, vaccine efficacies, etc., on the definition of the priority age groups and the coverage, as well as the corresponding health benefits we found the key factors regulating the vaccination process have little effect in determining the optimal strategies. Finally, we conclude that optimal allocations can be highly beneficial as such strategies are capable to simultaneously achieve different objectives. The highest priority categories are broadly consistent under different hypotheses. For more details about our study, please refer to our published paper. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Here is my email address. That's all. Thanks for your attention.